All right, so today what we're going to look at doing is, is how to um, how to create and use design tables, and and we're going to do so. And we're going to hit three big topics here that can aid in that. Um, one, we're going to look at how we can rename dimensions, and this is going to help us when we go to pick our dimensions for the tables. Uh, we're going to look at inserting the design tables themselves, uh, and then how can we use the design tables to help drive some configurations and. And for this video, I'm going to be using this uh, ratchet example that you see on the screen in front of you. Um, so starting off, what we're going to do is, is we're going to come in and rename uh, just a few dimensions here that, that will help us out. And two in particular, and, I, and I've already renamed a couple here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to come in and just access the dimension that I want to rename. And just overwrite the, the SOLIDWORKS naming convention that, that is already there. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to name this one Transition Length. Go ahead and say OK. And there's one more that I want to rename, and that's the transition diameter. And you can see that 12 millimeter there. I'll go ahead and change that uh, to transition diameter. All right, we'll go ahead and say OK. Now, as I mentioned, I've already renamed a couple other dimensions here, and you'll see that whenever we go to insert our design table. And so to do that, all we really have to do is come to our insert tab and go ahead and say design table. Now there are some details here that, that we can roll through but for the basis of this video I'm going to go with an auto create and let SOLIDWORKS do the creation for me. So as we start to roll through that SOLIDWORKS is going to basically prompt me for which dimensions that I want to add to the table. As you can see it pops these up. You can see I've already renamed a few of these in particular. Uh, so I'm going to simply do a, a control select here and grab the ones that I want namely those four, or five rather, let me get some, some head depth here, uh, and we'll go ahead and say OK. You'll notice SOLIDWORKS builds out the design table, and as we look at it you can see those various dimensions and their values. So let me expand this out just a little bit. Great. Alright, so in this case we've got our design table created and now these values are going to drive uh, the size of our model. Uh, the easy part comes in now is if we want to create configurations, uh, it's as simple as us go ahead and, and, and just typing in what we want. Uh, in this case, let's just call this configuration 1, and we'll change a few of these key values here. Uh, in this case, for my handle width, and rather than 20 millimeters, let's say we want to take it to 30. Uh, for our transition length, instead of 220, let's say 250. For our handle height, we'll go ahead and increase that as well to 20. For our transition diameter, we'll take it to 14. And for our head depth, let's go to 25. Now, as soon as I click out, SOLIDWORKS is going to remember that and tell me that I have now generated the following configuration. So if I say OK, now if I come over to my configurations manager, you, you can see that I do in fact have the new configuration. If I double click on that, SOLIDWORKS activates it just like it would any other configuration that we double click on. So the process is actually quite easy. Now we can use this design table to go ahead and help us generate our configurations and really define whatever we want inside the model. The process to go back to that table is really easy as well. We simply access the tables folder from our configuration manager, right click on the table, and decide to edit it. Again, you'll see it pop up in my graphics area. And if we want to come in and actually add new configurations, we can do that. In this case, I'm going to add a configuration 2 and drop back some of these values. Again, clicking out of the design table now generates the new configuration. We'll get the notification of our two new ones that were created. And again, you can see those populate in our tree. Again, simply double clicking on the configuration activates them. Now you can see our shorter configuration, and we go back to a longer one. So with design tables, you can see it's easy to go ahead and get those started, and to quickly and easily build a family of parts simply by using a table.